Well, first of all, let's go back a second. He got voted out basically by the partners because of his handling or perhaps mishandling of some big crises. Yeah, and that is the number one big question mark around this new hire over at Goldman Sachs. Obviously, this is a big post at Goldman Sachs. He will be running Asia operations outside of Japan. So that's ex-Japan. He was a major executive in Asia for McKinsey, but as you say, there was a very rare move among the McKinsey partners not to vote him back into the firm. At the same time, McKinsey is truly global, so he certainly knows the world. That's not terribly surprising. Uh, what is Goldman's situation in Asia, ex-Japan, as you say? Did they have a hold? Did they have something they were trying to fill? Yeah, it's interesting because ex-Japan, and again, they have lost some talent at the top, including in Japan, most notably, but in Asia, Goldman does quite well. Yeah. In fact, they are a lead underwriter on IPOs. They've been able to navigate a lot of these challenges quite successfully. In fact, David Solomon himself was one of the early people this year to telegraph to us that this could be a headwind for a long time, and they were willing to be patient in the region. They have done work with CICC. The CICC was actually one of the early partners with Goldman as they entered the U.S. and wanted to do more merchant banking activities. So this is a very big post, and it sounds like it's yes in Asia, but it's a very important global post for Goldman Sachs. An important post, but what is the post? You know, you know Goldman so well. I wonder, looking at this, I think of McKinsey as par excellence a management consultant, not necessarily somebody who does IPOs, for example. Is it more of a client relations job, and therefore might his relationships stand Goldman in good stead? Yeah, that's a great question because aren't they very similar these days, right? Mm -hmm. That's a funny thing to say, but you see even on the league tables, the big consulting firms in investment banking rising up on those league tables even above some of the big European banks. So it is a geopolitical issue for them. This is a big question among how to deal with the corporates, but the sovereigns themselves are just as important, as you know, as the corporations, David. But I think you put your finger up. Perhaps, you'll tell me, is China number one on his agenda? Is, again, ex-Japan, because Goldman has been, he's been, they've been there since Hank Paulson took him in. Uh, for Mr. Sneeder, certainly. For <laughs> David Solomon, I think he has a lot on his hands right now. But certainly, Asia is a very important part of the story. Over at Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley, remember the tech giants that are in China have been such big revenue generators for the banks in recent years, that it certainly is a, an enormous region to be focusing on at a time of great tumult. Yeah, and as you point out, geopolitical as much as financial, exactly. actually, given China right now. 